gamers! Welcome, Buccaneers, to the Pixel Pirate Plays. This is your host, Pixel Pirate, and today we are playing a game called Nancy Drew, The Deadly Device. This is the latest in the series of many games, actually. There's a lot of Nancy Drew games. Uh, it's uh, developed by Her Interactive and also published by them. And you can pick it up on Steam. We'll put the prices up towards the end of the video. All right, let's have a look at the options quickly. Not much to see here, unfortunately. Can't even change the uh, resolution. The full screen mode goes uh, uh, to your native resolution, or it stretches out to your native resolution. And Windows mode is a square, which sort of sucks. But anyway, let's get into it. Oh, there's extras. Ah, boring. <laughs> More NT, yes, alright, so there's, there's all the other games, uh, there are like so many. <laughs> now, this game is a detective game, similar to the Sherlock Holmes game I covered a while ago. Uh, you can choose your difficulty level, so with the amateur sleuth you uh, get just regular puzzles, there's hints. Uh, with the master sleuth there's no hints and the puzzles are more challenging, we're going to go with amateur. A little bit of a cutscene here, guys. Doesn't go for too long. Nice jumper, by the way. <laughs> No technology for you. Nancy, you made it. Good. You couldn't tell me much earlier. What's the story? You'll find all the information in Nico's desk drawer. The combination is 171943. Got it. I'll need full access to the lab, and a cover. For the cover, say you're doing due diligence for a new investor. I'll back you up if anyone asks. But full access to the lab? No, it's too dangerous. If I can't investigate everything, I might have a problem on my hands. All right, I'll have Ellie set up a demo for you. But that's it. The equipment in this lab is extremely dangerous. Got it. Approach the case how you want, but I think I know where you should start. Ryan, the police really thought she might be behind Nico's murder. They just couldn't prove it. She built the machine that killed him, and supposedly she'd threatened him. Start there. I've got to leave the office. If you need me, I'll be on my phone. Good luck. Stay safe. And please, help me do right by Nico. He was a brilliant scientist. And a good man. Hmm. Okay, so here we are. This is the game. Basically, it is an investigatory game. You move around by clicking the arrows. It's all very exciting. I need to find <laughs> a way to fix this. Okay. So I believe Nancy is a investigative reporter. I'm not entirely sure. I haven't actually ever played any of these games before, so it's the first time I've uh, even it heard of like them. It's to missing be honest. the opening mechanism. All right. Um, let's have a look over here. Oh, need a key for that. What about here? Anything exciting? Not really. Alright, let's go and have a look at this thing. What the hell is that? <laughs> okay. What are these for? Nothing. Very well. This must be the drawer where Victor put the case file. Alright, one, seven, one. Nine, four, three. Yay. 
Here are the notes from the police investigation. Keep the contents of the file to yourself. Do not remove it from Nico's office. If anyone should discover the file on you, your cover would be blown. Alright. So, lots of information here. Uh, I'm probably not going to actually read all that. <laughs> not a chance in the world. Alright, so. Where to now? I guess we go outside. Just having a look around. Yep. Let's go out here. Alright. What's through the doors? Oh dear. Uh, how do I answer my phone? Hello, Nancy. There I forgot is. to tell you. We've been having a lot of outages lately. Funny you mention that. I think you're having one right now. It's nothing to worry about. We've got backup on the big systems. Most of the time, Gray can get things back online in an hour. Occasionally it takes a while, but rarely does it come close to the critical window. Critical window? Some of the equipment can get unruly when the power supply isn't consistent. Don't worry about it, though. Take the time to get settled. Catch up on sleep. All right. Gotta run. <laughs> okay, right. what's that? Come on! Ow, my toe! Jeez, you're a clumsy woman. Alright. So, sleep it is. This was not what I expected when I set the alarm. Okay, anything we can look at out here. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Don't be so informative, goodness. All right. Books, books, books. Books, books, books. Nothing. So basically, <laughs> this, this game kind of consists of running your mouse over everything that you can see uh, until I need to find the power knob before I can use it until you uh, get what you want basically out of order that uh, buzzer is very annoying <laughs> what is this <laughs> Little mini game. That's a uh, nice touch. Like that. You Whoa. Come with me. Oh dear. What's going on? No chit chat. Come now. Ooh, ooh. We need to get the system shut down before the grid goes critical. Get all those switches powered off. I'll do the rest. Why do I have to do it? <laughs> okay. Um. How do I do it? Hmm. Could this have been used to keep the power on? I need to keep this together with any other evidence I find. Alright. Here we go. So I've got to turn them all off. Alright. Okay. This is a needlessly ridiculous uh, puzzle. Just going to say there. Say that. Put that out there. How does this even work? High power, low power, power off. Right. Off. Off, off. Ugh. I have no idea. Can I get out of here? <laughs> no, I have to continue doing this until I get it right. Oh my god. <laughs> right, that's that line done. No. Okay. Right, off, off. Those two are off. Alright, we're getting there, we're getting there. Almost there. Almost there. 
No. Nice work. Oh, now get thank out. God. Who are you? <laughs> what just happened? If the grid had gone critical, we'd all be dead right now. I'm Gray. I don't care who you are. Don't tell me. Get out. Wow. <clears throat> um. Okay. That was extremely odd. <laughs> all right. What's in here? Don't know you. Who let you in? But we've already met in the lab. Never mind. I'm Nancy. I'm here doing research for a new owner. Just what this place needs. You're not a fan of the idea? Nope. Why not? Not a fan of most ideas. <laughs> All right, I'll get to choose dialogue. That's a strange attitude for someone who works at a receipt research facility. For someone who works at a oh, research good, facility. <laughs> <laughs> Might be. What do you do here? Job description says security agent. Suppose it's more valid than not. How long have you worked here? Don't know. Can you estimate? Mm, nah. You're really not going to tell me how long you've worked here. So it would seem. I'd better get going. Bye. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, anything to look at here? What's with these symbols here? Hmm. Interesting. I should have turned the light off on him. <laughs> uh, okay. Actually, let's go back. Go up here. Ah, oh, this is the office we started in. Never mind. Get out of here. Let's go this way. Ah, oh, this is my room again. Right. Okay. Back. Back. Alright, there we go. Um, it's fairly linear in its movement. Like, I, I want to go into all the rooms, not just, you know, the ones that designated... No, I've just been in there. Here we go, it's main locked. laboratory. Oh, God. Damn I need it. a car to get in the lab. Double damn it. Snoop the security booth. Alright. That guy was in the security booth. I'll, I'll give it a go. See what happens. Uh. Yeah, what? Bye. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, doesn't look like I can do anything. Except leave. Oops. Uh, all right, well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is Nancy Drew. <laughs> I guess if you like uh, investigatory games, uh, it could provide some fun for you. I, uh, I think that probably the Sherlock Holmes game that I covered previously was uh, a bit better simply because you, you can move around rather than using the arrows and stuff. Not that uh, using the arrows and things uh, makes the game crap, it's just, I don't know, it, it makes it, it does make it quite linear, I feel. Uh, maybe, maybe this is kind of the tutorial area and, uh, locked. Uh, and as a result, you're kind of restricted in what you do, but what's in here? I wouldn't do that if I were you. Mason's not very forgiving. Can I help you? What brings you here? School? Actually, I'm checking the lab out for a new potential owner. Oh yeah, Nancy, right? Yes. Ellie, Victor wanted me to show you the coil. I guess you could say you're lucky. Most people never get to see the inside of the lab. 
and we're not exactly up to giving tours, considering. Ready? Yeah, so uh, pretty impressive, isn't it? Is this the coil that was bit, responsible uh, for Nico's creepy. death? Yes, it's been rewired since that night. It never should have been set up that way in the first place. Why was it wired that way? There must have been a reason, right? Now, I need you to focus on what we are doing. It's very dangerous. What you're in right now is called a Faraday cage. Well, how does it work? Basically, it conducts the electricity away from whatever is inside it, keeping you safe. Here we go! Goodness. Okay, that's it. Back to the office. <laughs> Thanks for the demo. Any chance you could let me look around in the lab sometime? Nope. <laughs> All right, so there you go. Yeah, as I was saying, uh, it, it, it feels very restrictive, uh, especially for an investigatory game, you know, a game where you're supposed to go out and investigate things. Uh, it it kind of points you almost to the direction where you're supposed to go to investigate, not, oh, have a look around. Oh, is this interesting? No, there's nothing there. Oh, what about this? Or, you know, it's it's like, no, you can't go in that room uh, because there's no path to it. So you just have to go into the other rooms and there's always clues or things to look at in those rooms. So uh, it, 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 it was fine when they used it for games like Myst, but I think um, it's not a very good mechanic to use in, uh, nowadays in my opinion uh it doesn't make the game uh well it kind of makes the game less fun but it, it's still playable if you get me uh it, but it could be better that's that's uh probably a better term uh it could be better uh it could be improved if i could move just move around and have a look like if i want to look at that tissue box i should be able to even if it's useless i should just be able to have a look at it and say it's a tissue box uh, you know, point-and-click adventures have been doing that for a long, long time. So uh, I don't see why we can't do that with uh, games like this. So, Anyway, other than that, um, if you like uh, in investigating games uh, like Sherlock Holmes, then uh, it might be worth picking up. Uh, it's on the pricier side. I'll put the prices up right now. Uh, so I'm not sure how long the game is, but uh, yeah, I, I probably wouldn't pay that much for it, to be honest. Uh, probably 15, but not uh, not 20. Anyway, thanks everybody for watching, and don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and we'll see you next time. Shiver me timbers!